Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Match. The other day I did a video on Firefox versus LibreWolf. And if you don't know what LibreWolf is, it's a hardened fork of Firefox. And in Arch Linux, LibreWolf is only available in the AUR, the Arch User Repository. So in the video, I installed LibreWolf from the AUR, the Arch User Repository, and I installed it manually. And someone commented and said, oh, that person always uses Yay to install their AUR packages, and they never saw someone install it manually before. And then another person commented and said that they installed uh, LibreWolf manually, my way. <laughs> but how do you update it? So today I'm going to do a video on installing packages from the AUR and updating them. So let's get to it. Right now, I'm in a virtual machine of Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to try installing something. So let's open up Brave. I'm going to open up the Brave browser, which is from the AUR and it's already installed. And I'm going to go to Arch Linux. And let's go to the AUR. And actually, what I'm going to do is let's go to the uh, wiki and let's type in window manager. And we're just going to take a look at some window managers. So we have stacking. And you know what? I'm going to go right down to, I think I went down too far, tiling window managers. Let's do dynamic. I'm going to go to dynamic window managers. And I'm going to pick one from the AUR that I don't know how to use, but it's not going to be a video on how to use it because I never used it before. And that's not what this video is about. Let's try Spectrum or Spectre WM. Never used it before. And it's from the AUR. It's only available in the AUR. It's not available in the official Arch Linux repository. So I'm going to click it on. And ooh, let's make that a little bigger. Uh, that's better. <laughs> Let's go down. So this was updated last in uh, July 2024, so it's six months old. Okay. And actually, I can't count. It's only four months old. And I'm going to go to another workspace and open up my terminal. Now, when I'm uh, installing packages from the AUR manually, I like to keep it organized, so I make a folder called Right here, I made a folder called AUR. So if I CD into it, and let's clear the screen, you're gonna see I have a folder for the Brave browser and LibreWolf because I installed both of these manually from the AUR. So now that I'm in my AUR folder, and you don't have to do that, this is optional because I just, it's just the way I like to do it. So now that I'm in my AUR folder, I'm gonna insert that. Well, actually, I'm going to do type in git clone, leave a space, and then insert that line. Oops, I used my copy <laughs> to show you something. So I got to go back here and copy this. Let's copy and let's go back to the other workspace and let's do insert. So I'm going to do click git. So I'm going to do git clone and insert it. Okay, now I'm going to clear the screen. And I'm going to ls it, and you can see we have a folder called Spectrum or Spectre WM. So I'm going to cd into it, cd spec. I'm going to clear the screen. I'm going to ls it, and you see we have a file called package build. I'm going to do less pkg build, and it's going to take a look at here to make sure everything looks good. There's nothing funny in here. And it's a pretty small file, actually. It's <laughs> smaller than usual. Um, so what I'm looking, first of all, at this line. So See the HTTPS? That's showing where it's coming from in the internet. And it's going to download it from github.com. Vector WM. And everything looks good. Now, I've never downloaded this 
window manager before, so I don't know if it's going to work because sometimes some things in the AUR don't work. They don't install properly. Uh, so, and I don't know how to use it. So even if it does install properly, I never used this window manager before. So I'm just trying to show you how to do this. So everything looks good. So to get out of there, you have to hit the Q button to get out. So I'm going to hit Q. Now I'm out. Now I'm going to type in this command. Make PKG, leave a space, dash SIC, sick. Okay. Let's see what the package makes. Now, sometimes when you install things from the AUR, they don't build properly. Regardless of whether you're doing it manually or you're using an AUR helper like Yay or Paru, sometimes they just don't install. Oh, now it's asking for my password. It looks like it's going to install. So I'm going to put my password in. And you want to do this? I'm going to hit yes. And it's done. It looked like it installed, so let's see if we can get into it. So now I'm going to uh, close my window. And I'm going to close my web browser. And let's log out. Let's quit. And we're logging into LightDM. Now let's see. There it is there. Spectre WM. I don't know what I'm going to get here because I've never used a program before. So let's put my password in. <laughs> I should say never used a window manager before. And we get a black screen. Total exceptions. First exception could not find X lock. And let's see if I can open up a terminal. And nothing seems to be working here. Hmm. How about that? Oh, oh, how about that? Okay, so D menu works. So let's see if I can do um X term. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> oh, that is too bright. Let's do an H top. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're running at 233 megabytes of RAM. And let's close that. And let's type exit. Now let's do um, this again. Let's type in Brave. And here we have the Brave browser. Let's just close it. And now I never used Spectre WM before. And actually, this is not what this video is supposed to be about. But while I'm here, let's play around with it a little bit. So Alt P brings up D menu. And let's do this X term again. Hmm. Now you know what I'm going to do. I am going to let's do sudo system control disable light DM. Put my password in and let's reboot. I know I'm doing some things I wasn't planning to do. <laughs> and let's put my username in and my password. And let's vim into XNRC. And let's let's type in S oops. S P E C T R. I think that's how you spell it. Let's see if I can get in this way. Let's do uh Start X and we're in. Now let's do um, Alt P to bring up D menu. Let's do X term. Ah, that's better. <laughs> better than that bright white screen, eh? Let's do X render S 1360 by 768. Ah, that's better. And let's do an H top now. Wow. Wow. We're running at 187 megabytes of RAM. Oh, so this, <laughs> this virtual machine has four processors, four gigs of RAM, and no swap. And look at this. It's running at 194 megabytes of RAM. Talk about lightweight. I'm going to have to take a look at this Spectre uh, window manager. I'm going to have to do a video about this. Wow. So now how do we close that? Would it be Alt Q? No. Alt W? Oh, Alt W closes it. I'm going to have to play around with this and make my own configuration file for this. Let's do Alt P brings up D menu again. Now I already had D menu installed. 
So D menu doesn't get installed with Spectre WM. I already had it installed from before. Yes, let's type in Libre Wolf. There you go. We have Libre Wolf, the hardened fork of Firefox. So, you know what? I'm just going to stay in here. <laughs> let's close this. Resets it. Let's do Alt W. So now I showed you how to install something manually from the AUR. Now, let's update it. So now I have... I have the Brave browser installed, which is from the AUR. Let's see if there's an update. So what I'm going to do is, remember I told you that I install my AUR packages in a folder called AUR, which is optional. You don't have to do that, but I like to keep everything organized. So I'm going to CD into AUR, and now I'm going to clear the screen. So now you can see I have a Spectre. Window Manager folder, a Library Wolf bin folder, and a Brave bin folder. So I'm going to CD into Brave folder, and I'm going to clear the screen. Now that I'm in the Brave folder, well, there's two ways I could know if there's an update. One is I could look at the uh, Arch Linux website, go into the AUR, go into Brave bin, and see if it's been updated. Right? Or I could just go into here. So we're in my AUR folder and my Brave bin folder. Let's just do a git pull. Git pull. Already up to date. So those are the two ways you can update it. You can go onto the Arch Linux AUR website and see if there's an update to do. Or you could just go into the, your Brave bin folder and do a git pull. And it's going to tell you it's up to date. Now, let's CD out of there. We could just clear the screen. Let's CD into AUR. I don't know how I got out of there. Let's LS it. Let's CD into Library Wolf bin folder. And let's just type in. So now we're in the Library Wolf bin folder. We're going to type in git pull. Oh, and there we go. It downloaded the updated version of Library Wolf but we have to build it and install it. So now we're gonna clear the screen. We're gonna LS it. And I'm gonna go into package build. I'm gonna do less PKG build. And I'm gonna scan down and make sure everything looks okay. So we can see here, it's a fork of Firefox on the top there. You can see here, it's a community maintained fork of Firefox. It's coming from https LibreWolf community dot gitlab dot io. And I'm going to scan down and just take a look and make sure everything looks good. Here you can see it's installing LibreWolf dash bin install. And it's coming from gitlab dot com. Okay, and it looks good. Everything looks good. I'm just going to scan down and take a look. And everything looks good. So I'm gonna, now to get, I'm at the end of the file. So to get out of there, I'm going to hit the Q button, the letter Q, and that gets me out. Now I'm going to type in this command, make package dash SIC sick. And I hit enter. And it's updating it. And in a minute, it's going to ask us for a password. So updating a package, it's like installing it. You have to, well, you have to download it with your git pull. In order to update it, you got to download it with your git pull. Then you got to rebuild it and install it. And in a moment, it's going to ask me for my password. So now I'm going to put my password in. And yes. And it's installing. The updated version of Library Wolf, a hardened fork of Firefox. And that's it, it's done. And let's do uh, Pac Man QI Libre Wolf. So now we can see we have version. So before we had 132.0.1 installed. 
But now we have 132.0.1 dash one installed, right? And we can see the build date was today, Monday, November the 11th at 6.31 p.m. Right here, okay. Let's do an H top now. Now we're running at 2.29, okay. Now I'm in the TTY. And that's it. In this video, I showed you how to manually download a program from the AUR, the Arch User Repository. And I showed you how to update an app manually that was previously installed from the AUR, the Arch User Repository. And I did something I don't normally do. <laughs> I installed a program or an app or, well, really it's a window manager. I installed a window manager from the AUR that I never used before. And I, fumbled around with it <laughs> and it's called Spectre WM or Spectre Window Manager and I never used it before and what I did in this video is something I don't usually do or I never do and that is do something I've never done before <laughs> so you know in my videos I always do things that I know how to do or if I really don't know how to do it I usually go through one, two, or sometimes even three practice sessions off camera before I turn the camera on. So I don't look like I'm fumbling around. This time I didn't do that. So I've never used Spectre WM before. I've never played with it. I never installed it. So I did something different. You saw me fumbling around. Anyways, the main part of the video was showing you how to install something manually from the AUR and how to update it. I hope you learned something today and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mensch.